Hold on, y'all. I'll be back in a few seconds. I got a hot one today. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Uh, my name is Anthony Parker, and I welcome each and every one of y'all. For those who don't know, this show is guaranteed uh, to enlighten, inform, bring awareness, and what have you. Um, Please make sure you hit the like button. Um, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Now, this topic is uh, one I had revisited a while back talking about the sexual misconduct. Sexual misconduct at these NFB centers, and for those who don't know what these uh, NFB uh, like centers are, for the Blind National Federation for the Blind and um, individuals who are visually impaired, they go there expecting to be trained on mobility, expecting to be trained on how to become self-sufficient. So what happens is uh, people, I'm waiting for some people come in. So what happens, people, these uh, visually impaired individuals or those, these blind people come there and they expect to be uh, trained in mobility, trained in uh, being more self-sufficient. But instead, there are certain accusations that have been occurring at this particular center uh, in Colorado. Uh, Little Town, Colorado. I'm, I'm gonna read the the, magazine, the uh, article that was sent to me by a young lady. Should I say her name? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say her name. But she sent it to me last night, and I had to jump on it because, as I mentioned, I had touched on this a long time ago. But uh, we didn't have as much evidence as I needed to really go further with it. But I think that I'm gonna try my best, as long as I'm still uh, here to try to adjust this topic and try to bring some awareness. And this is no, not to, you know, bring any, anybody, any centers down or anything like that. It's basically, as I mentioned, to bring awareness. And I hope that you share this video. Hope you share the video. If the music's too loud, let me know Let me before I start. Hope you share the video, man, because like I said, I don't know, uh, Uh, no, I don't know how long I'll be doing this. But anyway, let me get to it. Uh, sexual abuse, misconduct, uh, allegations kept quiet for decades at the world-renowned Colorado Center for the Blind. Now, this was uh, written by a man, man, man by the name of David Gilbert. Um, I guess he's the editor of the Colorado... I mean, he's it's, it's, it's the editor of the uh, Colorado Sun. So <clears throat> here's what has taken place. They came to the Colorado Center for the Blind seeking confidence. They left traumatized. Okay. And then here they're talking about share, you know, share the story. Da, da, da. As the article continues, it says, <clears throat> uh, let me get this. Okay. More than a dozen previously, more than a dozen previously reported instances of sexual misconduct and abuse spanning at least two decades 
at the Colorado Center, Center for the Blind in Littletown have surfaced during an internal investigation of the school's parent organization. Among the offenses of the alleged sexual assault of a 13-year-old girl by a summer youth camp counselor in 2001, of which police have no record, a teacher accused of sexually harassing students in 2019 who was hired despite um, school leadership allegedly knowing he had faced accusations, listen to this, of unwanted um, let's see, of un sexual contact at another school and a teacher who admitted he engaged in a sexual relationship with a 19 year old student in violation of sexual policy. Okay. The allegations were made public in a report released in June by a, uh, let's see, it was by a, let me see, let me see, by a special committee investigating misconduct claims in the National Federation of the Blind. Uh, the school's parent organization. The investigative findings bolstered the accounts of eight people associated with the center who told the Colorado Sun that leadership at the world-renowned school covered up sexual offenses for years or simply ignored them. I thought if the leaders knew, they would do something, ab something about it, said Stacy uh, Servinka, a former counselor at the youth summer camp operated by the Colorado Center for the Blind, who told her supervisor in 2001 that she had walked in on a fellow counselor sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl. The counselor was the counselor was fired, but Servinka said no one at the school reported the um, the assault to police, raising questions mm -hmm, about whether the school's uh, complied with Colorado law requiring teachers and school officials to report the abuse of children. School officials say they call police in Glendale, Glendale, where the alleged assault occurred and that an officer came to the apartment complex where students were staying to investigate. Glendale police, however, state say they have no record they were contacting hmm. so vinka said she well she and others who were aware of the assault were not interviewed by police hmm, hmm, hmm. the national federation of the blind or nfb an advocate group for blind and low vision people launched <clears throat> they launched the probe at the end of 20 20 after former students and the supporters uh, published an open letter calling uh, for reform. The letter said misconduct within the organization and its training centers in Colorado, Louisiana, and Minnesota had been hushed up by leaders and allowed to fester for decades. Mm -mm -mm. Former students and other uh, associ associated with Colorado Center say the school's leadership, including longtime director, uh, Julie, let me get her name right, Deedon, pressured them to keep quiet about the incidents of misconduct. Eden has declined to respond to any specific allegations. None of the, ac the uh, Ac accusations are being criminally investigated according to Littleton, Littleton Police and the 18th Judicial District Attorney's Office. Littleton Police spokesman Trent Cooper said investigators are unaware of any sexual misconduct complaints at the school. Hold up, I got more. At the <clears throat> any uh, at the school, and also uh, they are unaware of any at the school, and 
at least two instances of sexual mis- misconduct discussed in this story involve a- a- accusers who not to report them to police, which crimes citing the emotional citing the emotion. This is bad toll of pursuing charges against the men they say were responsible. Don't call it rape. <clears throat> Complaints about sexual misconduct and failure to confront uh, misconduct head on are startling common at NFB training centers and conventions, says Savinka, who who held leadership roles in the national organization before leaving in 2018. As long as I was in NFB, I heard stories from friends about sexual misconduct they experienced. Savinka said, I've had few um, incidents myself that were uh, mishandled. I thought if the leaders knew, they would do something. That if people knew who <clears throat> who was molesting and raping members, something would be done about it. Um, Cesar, let's see, another another young lady named Salazar says she um, she says that she let me get it right now. She says this is another this is another uh individual who uh who uh said she she gained a lot from her uh, year of training at the colorado center for the blind but was traumatized after being raped by her roommate another former student after her program ended she said, and then there's um, some pictures. Marie Salazar, Salazar says she gained a lot from her 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 training after, as I mentioned, you know, that um, after she was raped. She says that um, she told the son that she was drugged and raped. She's 25 years old. She was drugged and raped one year ago by a roommate in an in an off-campus apartment. Then the counselor. Um, basically wanted to sweep it under the rug and told her that if she uh, if she was to to, to uh, tell what happened, the um, in the individual who who did the rape would um, no doubtly be you know be uh, it would mess up his career. So in essence, she wanted him, her to say that she, she did not rape her. So Salazar, when she went to um, the hospital where evidence was collected during a sexual assault um, forensic exam she talked to a uh, counselor and later dropped it because she felt that no one would believe her now this I, did, I, I paraphrased the, the last bit but I just wanted to get that out to let y'all know this was done by a man by the name of David Gilbert I'm, I'm, I was I had to jump on this because I, as I mentioned I had done something about this uh, a while ago but this just goes to show what kind of shit goes on where people are taken advantage of all over the world. But if you're visually impaired, blind or whatever, people don't give a shit. They really don't care. So these individuals were going there to, as I mentioned, to learn how to be self-sufficient, learn how to cook, learn how to uh, deal with being independent and have to face with these situations. Now, you can go and visit this information uh, that I just, you know, uh, read. It's in the uh, Sunday, Colorado Sunday. It's in the, uh, it's, it's, if y'all want it, I'm gonna put the link in the description. But anyway, I've been to one of the centers and I stayed there for about a week. So I, I mean, I, I never witnessed anything, never knew anything like that was going on. But yeah, uh, uh, I had spoken with a lot of individuals off record, and they said things like this really happen all over. And this and that, and, and within this uh, article, it just confir- confirmed it. So man. If you're planning on sending your kids away to these centers, I'm not saying don't do it, but just make sure you have them checked out. Make sure you, you speak to the, you know, the, the, the counselors, the, the supervisors. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure when you do send them that you check up on everything and make sure you have uh, great communication because 
this some that's this some this some, some bad things that's going on, man, for real. So, with that being said, y'all, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Third Eye Visions, where I will educate you as much as I can, bring you uh, uh, information such as as this, so that you will know what's going on in your area, in the blind community, so the sighted people can know as well. So, hey, with that being said, man, y'all, continue to support. I don't know how long I'll be doing this, but y'all thanks for the support i love y'all